So a new social media platform has appeared to challenge Instagram due to like the increased amount of frustration with the new Instagram algorithm. They say it's a new way to be social with less of what makes social media crap and more of what makes social media great. Has Vero got like the potential to be the next big thing? Coming up. So guys, a few days ago, I was just flicking through my Instagram stories and I seen someone that had Vero and was asking people to follow on Vero. I thought, like, what, what, what on earth is this? You know, at, at first I thought it might be some kind of like photography app or something like that, but it turns out it's actually a new social media platform and it's going to challenge with like the likes of Facebook and Instagram. It's getting quite a lot of uh, engagement and quite a lot of people are hopping over to Vero just to see what it is, you know, see what it's like, you know, it's, it's new, so it's always exciting. And I've also got it as well, and I'm, to be honest, I'm quite happy with it. It looks quite good. I think it has got huge potential as well. And basically, it's like an Instagram app, but without all like the ads and all like the algorithms and stuff like that. And they really do take pride in this. They do say like one of the things that makes them different is that they don't use algorithms. So everything is like in a chronological order. And if you post at six o'clock, then at six o'clock. Uh, the people that follow you will see your post, so not like three days late or anything like that. And they actually say, and I quote, we don't curate it, manipulate it, insert advertising in it, or hold back post. You see what has been shared with you and when it's been shared with you. After the first million can sign up for free, those who get it after will have to pay a small annual fee. So that, is, that also explains my like uh, one of my concerns is how are they going to get money if everything's for free and there's no advertising? Like, how are they going to survive, basically? Because, like, you can't have this big, massive app and not have any, like, income. But even an annual fee, like, that does raise a concern because if, if everyone just pays once a year, like, is that really going to cover all the costs? Like, I think in the end they're going to struggle because if, if it's just getting paid annually, then they're going to have to do some kind of, like, monetization or advertising to keep the platform running, unless the annual fee is really high. But they say it's only going to be, like, around a tenner a year. So as a subscription-based service, our users are our customers, not the product we sell to advertisers. Our subscription model will allow us to keep Vero advertising free and to focus slowly on delivering the best social experience instead of trying to find new ways to monetize our users' behavior of trick behavior or tricking them back into the app with notifications so after a million users they're going to charge annual fee so you might as well just get it now so make sure you get it for free because I, I, the way it's going I, the way it's trending at the moment there will be a million users on it sooner rather than later so i've been messing about with it like over the last few days and i've also like, posted a few little pictures on it and one thing i really like is that the the, the quality of your post stays the same like have you ever gone on to Facebook and you've uploaded a photo, or even on Instagram to be honest, and they sort of like compress the photo and it's not as clear and sharp anymore. Vero doesn't do that, so Vero does keep the high quality photo. And also like uh, Instagram like crops the, the photo and if you don't crop it, then it's like really small. Vero is also like worked around that, so if you have like a landscape photo, it will be the same size if you upload it to Vero. Another thing I really like about Vero is that you can share anything you want. Like it's not just posts, it's not just pictures. You can also share like what books you're reading, what books you recommend, what videos you're watching, what films you're watching, what series you're watching, what music you're listening to. You can just share links, videos, you can share anything you want. It's sort of like a Facebook inside of Instagram, which I really do like. And of course, the fact that you can just see everyone's posting chronological order. So you're not messing around with algorithms and there's no like chance that only 10% of your like, following will see your post. Thirdly, or secondly, what are we up to? I'm not even sure, but another thing I do like about Vero is that there's like an audience selector. So what you can do is if someone follows you, you can decide, is it an acquaintance? Is it a close friend? You know, is it just a follower? You know, you can just, you can sort of create categories inside of Vero. So when you post something, you can also decide like what category gets to see it. So you can just do everyone and then everyone will be able to see your post. Or you can do like just close friends. Like say for example, you've got like a party or you're going to town and it's not a very professional photo. It's just like a, you know one with mates then you can just post that and just show it to close friends whereas uh, if you've got like a professional photo and you want like uh, a bigger audience to see it or like acquaintances or someone in your network then you can show it to a bigger audience which is really good and a really way to keep your feed 
or your like your profile professional so like i said one of my main concerns is how is vero going to survive like is it really going to stay advertisement free you know are they really going to survive on just that annual fee i'm not really sure i'm very curious to see what's going to happen with vero i'm excited about the app i do think it's got huge potential and i'm very curious to see whether this is going to take over instagram within the next five years you know, who knows? Uh, for now, I'm definitely going to stay on both platforms just to see, like, you know, which one I like better. I like Instagram just for the community and, like, the, the following I've already built up. You know, my network's on Instagram, but Vero has got huge potential to maybe even take over that. Another, like, con, if you can call it a con, is that brands have no way to, to like, direct target a certain audience. So, like I said, there's no algorithm, so everyone gets to see your post. So, if you're a company or a brand and you want a specific audience, Audience to see your post there's no real way of like direct targeting that audience so if you put up like uh, well to be honest there's no no advertisements on it anyway but if you let's say for example you could put an advertisement on Vero then there's you, you know your post will just get seen by everyone and not by like certain individuals between uh, this and this demographic living in you know wherever so there's no way of doing that so for brands it's probably not the best platform I think Forbes put like an article up as well uh, if I can find I'll put it there but like, even Forbes said, like, for brands, Vero is probably not the best option. And obviously, because it's like a new app, there's going to be like loads of bugs and stuff like that. And that is something I've noticed as well over the last two days is that, like, sometimes when I try and post a photo, uh, like, it doesn't load or it takes ages to post and stuff like that. And then you end up, like, you're, you're having to, like, close the app and then, you know, starting it again and repost it and see if it works. So it has got a few little bugs, which is... To be honest, it's quite like logical, you know, it's it's a new app, it's still, I think it's even still like the beta version, it's not even the real app just yet, and I think like, a few like quite big influencers or celebrities have already gone over to the app and tried it out and also shared that with their followers, so they've got just like an increased amount of followers and, and uh, like people downloading the app, so I don't think they sort of uh, realised that like the, the impact this app could have. So they weren't really ready for such a huge amount of users uh, downloading the app immediately. So I think they're struggling with that for the time being. But like once they get that up and running, once they get all like the bugs out of it, it can be a really good app. So this video was short and sweet. It wasn't really much of a review. It's just like my initial thoughts on the app Vero. Like I said, I'm on it. Get on it if you want. It's for free now anyway. So you might as well just download it and see if you like it. But I'm very curious to see what like, what, what you guys think. Like, Do you think that this could be the next Instagram? Could you think that this could compete with the likes of Facebook and Instagram? Like, Where do you see it? Like, Are you going to stick to like, the big four? like Instagram, Snapchat, you know, Facebook and YouTube and stuff like that? Or do you think that this could be the next big thing? Let me know in the comments down below and make sure to follow me on Vero as well. If you're still going to stick to your guns and stick to Instagram, then make sure to comment your username in my, like, this, like the, the comment section. I was going to say description box there, but in the comments so I can follow you back and like, really sort of create this Brampaneer community. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of it. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. I need to find a new outro. I keep saying like, share, comment, subscribe, but that's definitely coming up. Guys, thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Gotta do what I gotta do.